So there's one other area I want to address before we get to the real-time aspects of sales, and that is differentiating between an admin user and a regular user of Activity Overlord. Currently, when we sign in, any user that's authenticated has access to everything in the app. And with a name like Activity Overlord, we definitely need some differentiation between an admin user and everyone else. So let me show you what this is going to look like by the end of the screencast. With the changes we're going to make, when the user signs in, there is a distinction here between admins and everyone else. Admins have free reign of the site and can make any changes to any user of the site. However, when I sign out and log in as Pawn at Pawn.com, who's not an admin, Mr. Pawn can only see his profile. He doesn't have access to the rest of the application. So let me show you how we implement that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add an attribute, the admin attribute, to our user model. It's going to be of type Boolean, and it's going to default to false. Next, we're going to go into the session controller, and under the create action, I'm going to paste in some code here. If the user has the admin attribute as true, then we'll redirect to the index action, in this case, slash user and the user controller. If not, we'll redirect to the user's profile page. Next, we need to create a new policy, in this case, the admin policy. And this policy is going to check whether the user is authenticated and whether the user has admin privileges. If it does, then it's okay for that user to be passed to whatever controller and action we define in the policies under the config folder, which we're going to do in just a second. If they're not an admin, then we're going to create an error message, pass it to our flash mechanism, which will eventually insert our error into session.new when we redirect to that page. So let's go ahead and save it as admin.js and open up our policies file. So first, let's change authenticated to admin and see what happens. So we'll start the server and I'll log in as pawn at pawn.com and as you may recall Mr. Pawn does not have admin access. Okay this is bad because all I wanted to do was go to Mr. Pawn's profile page but we've been redirected to session new saying that we have to be an admin just to look at our profile. So we need some way of altering this policy so that non-admins can look at their own profile but can't look at other users' profiles. And at first, I'm going to do this by creating another policy. So I'm going to create a new file under the Policies folder. Paste some code in here and let's take a look at this. So I've created a variable here that is testing whether the ID of the user in the current session is equal to the ID of the record in the model the user is trying to access, or whether the user in the session is an admin. So in this case, if they're not either one of those things, that is, the user in this current session, if their ID doesn't match the user that they're trying to look at, or they're not an admin, then we're going to create this error that says you got to be an admin and pass that down to the flash mechanism and ultimately into session slash new. If they satisfy either one of those criteria, then they can go ahead and see the profile. So let's name this policy. Okay, I know that's not the greatest name in the world. If you know a better name, let me know and I'll change it. So let's go back into the policies and implement this new policy. So now for the show action, we'll add this policy. Okay, let's see how this looks. I'm going to restart the server. And I'm going to log in as our friend, Mr. Pawn, who does not have admin access, but now can see his own profile. However, I see a new problem here. Mr. Pawn, not being an admin, shouldn't show the user administration link. So even though the application is requiring that he be logged in, we don't want to show those links, and that's really easy to fix. So let's go back into the code and open the layout.js file. And currently, 
for both the link to the user profile and the user administration and placeholder file, we're just requiring that the user be authenticated. So let's change that. And for the user profile, we want the user to be authenticated. However, for the user administration link and this placeholder link, we want them to be not only authenticated, but also have the admin attribute true. So let's see how that works. Since this was a change just to the layout file, we don't have to restart the server and I can just refresh the browser. So great, Mr. Pawn, being the pawn that he is, doesn't have the admin links. There's just one more issue. When I go to Mr. Pawn's profile and I go to edit, I'm getting this must be an admin error because we haven't assigned the policy to the edit and update action. So let's go do that right now. So now I'll restart the server. Log in as Mr. Pawn. So now when we click edit, I can change Mr. Pawn to my heart's content because right now, I guess I am Mr. Pawn. So now that we have this distinction between admin and non-admin, I wanna be able to reference that in different parts of the user interface. So let's go do that. First we'll go to the index page and I'm just gonna paste in some code here. So what we're doing is checking if the user's an admin. If they are in the index, we're gonna reference this admin PNG. If they're not, we're gonna reference this pawn PNG. Let's take a look at that. So I'm gonna sign out, sign in as me. And now we have the admin king and the pawn pawn image. Next we'll go to the show view, paste in some code, basically doing the same thing here. See what that looks like. And finally, let's go to the edit view. This would have been much easier to do with jQuery and an AJAX call, but I wanted to see how to edit the admin designation with just a straight ahead HTML form with a checkbox input field. Boy, was I wrong. It's definitely more of a pain, and I'll be updating this functionality when I convert this to a single page app, but I wanted to show y'all how I did it, I guess for nostalgic reasons. Anyway, here's the EJS. And then we're going to go into the user model. So just like Waterline has this before create lifecycle callback, there's also one called before validation. And the reason I needed to use that is, again, just because of the funky nature of using the checkbox. And if you're curious, you can go through the logic or the illogic of what I'm doing here. But basically, I'm marshalling the checked and unchecked designation of the form. So let's see how this works. Go ahead and restart the server. And log in. So when we go to edit Mr. Pawn here, there's now this checkbox which is unchecked. So I'm going to go ahead and check it. And now when we go to the show view, the admin designation is shown again I'm still logged in as myself go back and see that the the index view has also been updated so I'm gonna keep Mr. Pawn a pawn there we go so to sum this up we now have user authentication as well as this distinction between the ultra powerful admin user and the lowly regular user who sadly is just a pawn. In the next screencast, we're gonna start looking at presence and tracking whether a user is logged in or signed in or not. Thanks for watching.